Hello, my friends. Hello, and welcome once again to Stately Vaughn Manor, where Roger and I have returned to talk about a bookshelf essential. Recently, the great David Wiley on his channel has been talking about some bookshelf essentials from his personal library, volumes that are absolutely essential to his library, books that he's always going to want to have on hand. And then Steve Donahue on his channel decided to do a video about a bookshelf essential from his library. And I thought, well, if Steve Donahue is gonna rip off David Wiley, then I will rip off David Wiley as well. David Wiley, by the way, is the author of Monster Huntress. Monster Huntress, available now, Monster Huntress. David Wiley wrote this book. And he also made those awesome videos, which I am now ripping off. So I have a lot of I have a lot of essentials to my library, and they are all, well, most of them, most of them are on this bookcase that is always behind me in these videos. And so I thought, you know what? I'll might as well talk about some of my book bookshelf essentials. Volumes that are very important to me and that I will never ever get rid of. I'm always going to want to have access to these volumes. I never know when I'm going to want to read them again. And I most certainly will want to read the volumes from this bookcase again at some point. So I'm going to keep all of these volumes until I'm dead. Until I'm dead, I'm going to keep all of these volumes. And then who knows what's going to happen to them. Uh, I'll, I'll leave you in charge of that, Roger. Roger's, you know, Roger's going to live forever. So he he can take care of this stuff after my demise but until then i'm going to want to have access to all of these books these are the essential volumes from my library so let's talk about one set of books one five volume set of books which is absolutely essential to my library and these books are written by manly wade wellman that's that's this fella right there manly wade wellman Manly Wade Wellman wrote the stories that are in this set of books. This set of books is fantastic. This set of books is the selected stories of Manly Wade Wellman, which was published by Nightshade Books 20 years ago. Can you believe it? Hard to believe. This set of books was published 20 years ago. The first volume was published in 2000, and the last volume was published in 2003. And I was buying these as they came out because I knew of Manly Wade Wellman, but at the time that I was picking these up in the early 2000s, it could be kind of hard to find books by Manly Wade Wellman, particularly the stories that are collected in these volumes. Even now, it can be hard to find collections of stories from Manly Wade Wellman. And it should not be so. That, that should not be the case because he was an excellent writer of fantasy and horror. He wrote a lot of stories for weird tales in the 1940s. So when we normally think of weird tales today, we usually think of H.P. Lovecraft and Robert E. Howard and Clark Ashton Smith, the big three of Weird Tales, who wrote their stories in the 1920s and the 1930s. But eventually, both H.P. Lovecraft and Robert E. Howard passed away, and Clark Ashton Smith just stopped writing weird stories. So going into the 1940s, Weird Tales needed a really good writer for their magazine since they had lost some pretty important writers. One of the writers that showed up on the scene to write for Weird Tales in the 1940s was Manly Wade Wellman, and he was excellent. Really good writer. I, I would not put him in the same class as the big three for Weird Tales, but he's really good, and he certainly had the Weird Tales spirit in his stories. So, this first volume, 
which is the third cry to Legba and other in invocations, has a lot of those stories that were published in the 1940s from Weird Tales. This volume has all, I believe this has all of the John Thunstone stories in it. It also has some Lee Cobbett stories. John Thunstone, and it has this cool illustration of Manly Wade Wilman there. John Thunstone was an occult detective, a great occult detective for Weird Tales. And Thunstone, his stories, they felt more like fantasy. They, they, they edged more into fantasy than horror, I believe. They were kind of early urban fantasy stories. Thunstone certainly felt like a fantasy character. His main antagonist, his main, the main villain of his stories, was a wizard. And Thunstone had his own magic sword. I mean, a lot of fantasy elements in the Thunstone stories. But also they were horror stories, of course. Very pulpy stuff. Very pulpy stuff. Reading them, you can certainly see that these were weird tale stories. A lot of fun. They're a lot of fun. Tremendously enjoyable. And so this was the first volume that was published in the year 2000, which is when I bought this book. And then the next book that came out is The Devil Is Not Mocked and Other Warnings. The Devil Is Not Mo Mocked and Other Warnings, and they all have these cool pictures of Manly Wade Wellman on the front and the back of the volumes. Then we've ha we have Fearful Rock, Fearful Rock and Other Precarious Locales, Fearful Rock. Then we have Sin's Doorway, Sin's Doorway, and Other Ominous Entrances. And then the series concluded in 2003 with Owl's Hoot in the Daytime and Other Omens. Here they are all together, looking all essential. Keep them over here next to the collected fiction of William Hope Hodgson, also published by Nightshade Books. This is an important volume, the fifth volume, because this has all the short stories, uh, all the Silver John short stories. Silver John is certainly Manly Wade Wellman's most popular character. And I believe nowadays, if you know Manly Wade Wilman at all, a lot of the time you know him because of that character, Silver John, who was a minstrel who wandered the hills with his silver stringed guitar. And he just had one supernatural adventure after another. Very popular character, Silver John. So... Oh look, it's the garbage man. It must be Monday afternoon. I must be filming this on Monday afternoon. You'd think I would learn. Every Monday afternoon, the garbage man comes by, which is, I guess it's good. We don't want the, we don't want the garbage to pile up here at Vaughn Manor. That would, be, that would be bad. It's good that someone comes and takes it away. Anyway, where was I? Oh yes, I was talking about this book. This is Owl's Hoot in the Daytime. Silver John. So, Silver John, popular character by Manly Wade Wellman. Manly Wade Wellman, he had one of those careers where he was fairly well known in the pulps in the 1940s and into the 1950s. He was still writing stories. These Silver John stories, most of these were written in the 1950s in the early 60s for the magazine of fantasy and science fiction. There was a time where he wasn't exactly forgotten, but he, he certainly was less known, Manly Wade Wellman. And that was the case into the 1970s. But in the 1970s, the great editor and writer, Carl Edward Wagner, published a volume of stories by Manly Wade Wellman. He also became a close friend of Manly Wade Wellman. 
And they remained close friends until Manly Wade Wellman passed away. And at that time, in the 70s and into the early 80s, there was kind of, you know, he, he, he gained some popularity and he started writing some novels about his character, Silver John. And so you started seeing more books by Manly Wade Wellman show up on the scene. And you can still find a lot of the novels of Silver John out there in the wild. Unfortunately, a lot of the stories that were published in the pulp magazines are still kind of difficult to find, actually. This wonderful set of books published a lot of them. Uh, it was the selected stories. Unfortunately, we do not have a complete collection of stories by Manly Wade Wellman. That would be awesome if that were to suddenly exist. But this was important because it did publish a lot of stories from Manly Wade Wellman, which had not been published and have not been published since. The Silver John stuff, I think, is going to be, if it hasn't been published again, it's, it, it has at least one time that I know of. And it's probably going to be published again. I think I heard about a big collected volume or set of Silver John that's coming out. But a lot of the other stuff, a little here, a little there. This set of books is important because it, there are just so many stories in this set of books. I was lucky to get them as they came out. I don't know how scarce they are now. Pretty sure you could find them. I just don't know how much they are. So I don't know if these are prohibitively expensive or not. If they're not, I do recommend picking them up. Because Manly Wade Wellman, he's a really cool writer. He's a lot of fun. Really cool writer, and I highly recommend him. He had a style all of his own. Pretty pulpy. It's, it's, pul it's really pulpy stuff, but in the best way. I mean, when I say that, that's... It's not like it's a bad thing. Pulpy is usually good to me. I like that stuff. I really like Manly Wade Wilman. I think you should check him out if you can. And this set of, set of books is certainly an essential to my bookcase. I'll shut up now. I will catch you next time.